so hey everyone welcome back to my channel so in my previous video i have shown you what are the use case of sandbox virtual machine so in this video i will show you how to configure sandbox in your computer system so without wasting further more time let's get started so to activate windows sandbox we need to first enable few things so first search here windows feature so this feature turn windows feature on and off click on it and as you can see on the bottom side windows sandbox is in disable mode so we need to activate it so how to do it let's find out click on settings then windows update and here click advanced option click on recovery then advanced startup restart now so now it's going to restart my computer so currently it's restarting my computer and entering to the bios mode and after restarting a screen is look like this will appear so you need to click on troubleshoot then advanced option and click on uefi firmware settings after that it will jump into the bios mode so this is the bios settings where we have to manipulate a few things so we need to first activate virtual settings in order to use the virtual window so how to do it just click on tweaker just like this and if you are in easy mode just click on advanced mode just by clicking f2 just like this and click on tweaker here you can see advanced cpu settings click on it then we have the svm mode so what is it as you can see on the bottom side enable or disable cpu virtualization so we need to enable it in order to use the virtual window how to do it just double click on it and here a pop up will appear like this we have to enable it so the function is enabled now we have to save it save and exit so it's currently restarting my computer and let's see whether the option is enabled or not so click again windows feature so here you can see windows sandbox is in enabled mode so right click on it and okay that's it is applying the changes so it's asking me to restart my computer again in order to reflect the changes now just write it here windows sandbox this window sandbox is enabled click on it so here you can see a virtual window will appear like this and you can use this virtual window as per your requirement so that's it for this video if you like this video give it a like and if you're new to this channel please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will never miss any important update like this in the future videos and if you haven't watched my previous video i will share the link in the i button go and check it out so i will see you in the next one until then bye bye